All right, so this is what we got going on for today. Changing out the alternator. That boy right there. This is a 2008 Mazda B. What does it say about B3000? Mazda 6 I with the four cylinder. Uh, 2.3 liter. Yeah. I already got the uh, passenger side wheel removed. Here's what it sounds like. So we got. So. Sounds like I'm strangling a cat under there. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show a little trick here on how to help diagnose a problem. If you're not sure about how to diagnose engine problems, one thing you can do to help is use a piece of PVC pipe or any kind of pipe to touch it on different parts and see if you can hear and then put the other end of it up to your ear kind of like listening through it to act as an amplifier so it sounds like a power steering pump that's what I thought first and of course it is making some noise but it should it's a power steering pump but if you go to the alternator oh yeah That's the problem, right there, that alternator. Plus I had some uh, advice anyways from gearheads. Couldn't help me today, but uh, anyhow. So when I work, I use a manual, Haynes manual. And uh, so I'm not just winging it. We got... Uh, the new alternator here, Denso, you know, because we got a Japanese car. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket that I just had to buy new to get the uh, belt off. And while we're at it, I'm just going to replace the belt. Uh, I'm not sure if it really needs it or not, but, um, you know, since I'm going to be in there. Uh, anyway, so since I do not have a lovely assistant to help me out, ladies, I'm available and can work on cars. Um, I'm probably going to have to do this in a few parts, but I'll label them uh, on the YouTube so you can uh, help you out. You might have to wind up watching a couple of different uh, episodes, if you will, on this. So after taking off the tire and, of course, disconnecting the negative battery cable, we'll do that. We want to take off all this crap here, all these pieces of trim around the around the wheel well because it says the best way to get to it is from underneath and I'm not surprised so I already got that off I'm gonna take off the negative battery cable here actually we're just gonna disconnect both sides and this side's got plenty of oxidation so I'm gonna get that cleaned off over here too I got uh, one of these handy dandy cleaner routers here you know you just put it on top there and just spin it around and get that clean so uh, anyways I'm gonna do a little bit more on this and then uh, start recording again once I'm at a, another stopping point alright